Today I'm taking on the challenge of turning this old motor into a 24 volts 1000W free energy fan. Let's see if I can make this work. Creating a free energy device like this fan can have a huge impact on our daily lives. Not only will it reduce our reliance on traditional power sources, but it'll also lower our electricity bills and help the environment. Plus, it's a great way to get creative and repurpose old materials that would otherwise end up in a landfill. We've all experienced the frustration of using traditional fans that guzzle up electricity and contribute to our growing energy crisis. They're not only expensive to run, but they also have a significant environmental impact. From the manufacturing process to the energy consumption, traditional fans have a substantial carbon footprint. And let's be honest, who hasn't wished they could just have a fan that runs for free? The idea of generating power without relying on the grid is incredibly appealing. Another issue with traditional fans is that they're often inefficient and noisy. They can be bulky, ugly, and take up valuable space in our homes. And have you ever tried to adjust the speed or direction of a traditional fan? It's not always easy, and sometimes it's impossible. By creating our own free energy fan, we can design it to be more efficient, quieter, and more versatile. Traditional fans also rely on complex systems that can break down easily. From faulty motors to worn-out bearings, there are many parts that can fail, leaving us stuck with a useless device. By using an old motor and converting it into a free energy fan, we can bypass these complex systems and create a more reliable device that's easier to maintain. Let's get started with the conversion process. The first step is to gather our materials and tools. We'll need the old motor, a 24 volts power source, some copper wire, a switch, a fuse, and a fan blade. We'll also need a soldering iron, wire cutters, and a multimeter to ensure our connections are secure and safe. Next, we need to disassemble the motor and identify the key components that we'll be working with. We'll need to locate the stator, the rotor, and the bearings. We'll also need to clean and prepare the motor casing for the new components. Once we have our components ready, we can start assembling the fan. We'll need to connect the copper wire to the stator and the rotor making sure to solder the connection securely. We'll then need to attach the fan blade to the rotor and ensure it's properly balanced. Finally, we'll need to connect the power source, switch, and fuse to the motor. Safety precautions are crucial when working with electrical components, so make sure you're wearing protective gear and following proper safety protocols. It's also important to ensure your workspace is well ventilated and free from any flammable materials. The moment of truth has finally arrived. Let's turn on the power source and see if our hard work has paid off. As you can see, the fan is spinning smoothly and efficiently, producing a powerful gust of wind. We've successfully converted the old motor into a 24 volts, 1000 W free energy fan. To recap, we've taken an old motor and converted it into a powerful and efficient fan that runs on free energy. We've bypassed traditional power sources, reduced our environmental impact, and created a device that's reliable and easy to maintain. The benefits of this project are clear, and I hope it's inspired you to take on similar projects and reduce your own energy consumption. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have. If you've got any questions or you'd like to share your own DIY projects, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY content and check out my next video on energy-saving inventions.